As an orator, Martin Luther King Jr. had the power to move mountains. I have a dream. He was quite an orator. That man could, he could speak and stir up everybody. I know I've been to him speaking, and tears would come down my eyes. To Hartwell Ragsdale, King was a modern Moses, leading his followers to the promised land. Where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. Martin Luther King just happened to come along at the right time. Ragsdale was San Diego's NAACP president when King visited San Diego in 1964. To have the opportunity of coming once more to the city of San Diego, California. During that visit, Dr. King told News Aid's Harold Keene he would never enter politics. I feel that my job is uh, in the civil rights struggle and, and one that should stay above uh, uh, both political parties and not become inextricably bound to either. My husband faced the possibility of death without bitterness or hatred. When Ragsdale heard the news that King was dead, he was devastated, but not surprised. It affected me, but I realized that any man in his position, as powerful as, as he was, somebody changing the government, changing the nation, I knew that uh, anything could happen to him any time. I think he realized that too. Even then, uh, we knew that he had become a great man and that he was our leader. John Johnson went to Morehouse College with Martin Luther I King in the that, 1940s, uh, and he says King's sermons were drawing crowds even then. Every time he was to preach, uh, the girls at Spelman would say, ML is going to preach this, this Sunday. As the leader of the civil rights movement, King preached the nonviolent tactics of Mahatma Gandhi, but King's death touched off riots in several major cities. None could take his place, none could ever take his place. He's a walking dream of what is right and good in our nation. James Earl Ray was convicted of murdering King. Right up to his death last week, Ray denied it. But King's family says it's time to reopen the case. I do believe firmly that it was a conspiracy, and I think that the unrest in the King family today is that they really don't know what happened. They don't know who was behind it, and whether it was Ray or somebody else, they simply want to know the truth. I think we know the truth. CBS truth, News anchor Dan Rather, truth. who covered the civil you know, rights movement and who worked on the CBS News investigation believe. of King's assassination, believes James Earl Ray acted alone. I have great respect for Dr. King's family. I understand what they have been through and what they are going through, but this is an inescapable fact. James Earl Ray was the killer of Dr. Martin Luther King. Well, I would like to find out before I leave this earth, earth myself, really what happened to him, or really, really who was behind this. Had King lived? I do deeply, strongly believe that if Dr. Martin Luther King had lived, uh, that we would be further along uh, the road uh, to racial peace and harmony in this country. I think that it did not complete his dream, that he had a dream, a dream that this would be a different place. We'll get over this. I don't know when, though. Well, that's the problem. Martin Luther King dedicated his life to love and to justice between fellow human beings. He died in the cause of that effort. Among the voices that spoke out was Robert F. Kennedy. Nobody knew in that terrible year that Bobby was next. I just looked around.